Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone I was busy for a month so I couldn't come online and I didn't make any videos anyways I'm back after a month now so uh, there was a tutorial pending uh, because there was a request by a brother and a sister on a video conversion so here is a tutorial and uh, I'll be going pretty fast because this tutorial takes a lot of time so if you are on Windows operating system, if you use Windows operating system, you'll be needing two applications. One, AVI DMX. Just search AVI DMX on uh, Google and search KLite Mega Codec Pack on Google. And then download these two applications. You click on Downloads and uh, you download this Codec Pack too you better download the mega codec pack just download the mega codec pack avi dmx install it okay and uh, for the linux users just launch the terminal window yes launch the terminal window you know how to do that and type sudo apt hyphen get space install space avi dmx and press enter okay when uh, you're done with installing the application uh, now let's go with the tutorial um so this is avi dmx you launch it when you're done uh, when you launch the mm, this particular application then we will start with the conversion so let's just, just drag the video now if you want to convert let's say if you want to convert an flv file that is the youtube file youtube video file to mpg all right the vcd1 format file so just drag the file over here i've already done that and uh, to do it easy way, let's just click auto over here yes just click auto and choose VCD you see these are already uh, these are the presets that you already have in the software so which makes it easy for you to export to some other format from any other format to VCD or VCD or DVD so I'll be choosing VCD and yes the aspect ratio will remain the same so when you do that uh, um, that was my mom. Um, so you choose you you see a video over here, and you have a video and an audio. Uh, what do you say? This configuration tab where you can configure the bitrate and the frequency of the video of the audio and. You can add filters and you can, what do you say, deinterlace the video and do crop the video, add logo and do whatever you want. So let's just um, go with the video part first. Click on configure. Okay, because this is uh, the VCD preset, VCD preset, so you don't, you, you won't be needing any configuration. You just click on save and um, let's save it. Uh, uh, in the desk desktop, I'll just be giving one dot mpg as the f output file because this is an mpg file, right? We are converting from flv to mpg. So let's p uh, click save. Yeah. So uh, it will take approximately approximately 15 seconds, whatever. Uh, so here you've got an mpg file. So now if you have a uh, software like uh, video editing software on your Windows operating system, which won't except if will be or which won't accept mp4 or any other applic uh, you know software you just drag it over here and you do this you'll get mpg and you can uh, edit mpg and do whatever you want with uh, a lot of softwares out there there are a lot of video editing softwares which accept mpg as input so you can do that fine so that's with mpg now if you want uh, to convert this file to avi so let's just uh, close it and i'll just take my flv file back uh, okay, I gotta open it. It's on desktop uh, video. Yes, this is the FLV file. Now we, we will convert this file to AVI file. Hey, hold on. Okay, let's go to video. Choose XWIT or X you can choose either XWIT or X264. I will choose XWIT uh, for some compatibility reasons. Okay, I'll choose XWIT now. And as audio, I'll be choosing MP3. Mm hmm. So I've got XVID as the video codec and MP3 as the audio codec. So let's configure uh, the encoder, the XVID encoder. You 
now this is the XP encoder S the single pass will give you uh, lower quality at a faster rate and the two pass will give you faster I mean better quality at a lower rate so it's up to you I always choose two pass because I can never compromise with quality so I choose two pass uh, let's choose two pass average bit rate and I'll give you and I'll give 250 because the optimum the optimum bitrate that you should give when you're converting like high quality files or like high resolution files it should be around you know 700 900 plus but because this is just an FLV file with 200 something resolution so I'll be giving uh, 300k as the average bitrate and I will just leave all these options oh, I, or I might just choose um, chroma optimizer and leave these options just the way it is if you know how to uh, what do you say fondle with this uh, uh, configuration this advanced configuration you can do that that always just leave it filters with filters you can crop the video like if you want to crop the video uh, okay you see this is the video right so if you want to crop the video uh, from the top or from the right you can do that uh, this way or uh, right you can choose auto crop when you have black black bars at the top and b in the bottom and resize if you want to resize the video to a lower resolution you can do that you know there are a lot of uh, configurations there are a lot of filters over here uh, over here you can just um, check this is very handy I use this all the time resampling the frame rate so if you know what to do with these filters I think you should you know you should go through it and uh, try to play with this uh, filters and inshallah you will learn something and the colors and all that okay this is about sharpening the video I mean this is about the filters uh, on improving or okay yeah, like improving the quality of the video so let's go to the audio uh, tab now so uh, we choose mp3 as the audio codec for our video let's configure it and you can choose you can just you know choose this configuration the default configuration or you can change it to maybe higher bitrate 224 if you have if you want really good quality audio otherwise 80 uh, 64 if it is just speech all right this is CBR there is constant bitrate and if you want uh, to go for average bitrate then you can choose this quality over here quality factor which will choose zero means lower quality the higher higher quality right so uh, and about the filters over here you can change the frequency of the audio resampling it all right so I won't be resampling it just leave it like that so and choose the video this is this format it means the video container you can save the video and the audio codec like the video codec and the audio codec into some container like this is the video part this is the audio part video audio part right and you save it to any container you want let's say AVI you can choose AVI the most common format over there you can choose MP4 you can choose OGM you can choose MKV you better search Wikipedia on the container formats so you understand more about the containers which container and you, you first of all you have to understand that there are some formats some video formats and some audio formats which are not compatible in all the containers for example let's say if you use XWID X264 um, codec that is a H264 codec and Vorbase as the audio and if you try to uh, save it in the AVI container you won't have a there will be compatibility issues and the video won't be as you want okay so for that the most versatile container in my favorite container is MKV that is the Metroska container you can save it to MKV or you can save it to AVI because uh, AVI uh, yeah the Vorbis won't AVI won't support Vorbis properly so you can choose MP3 and if you choose MP4 over here then you can choose uh, uh, AEC yeah the AEC has the audio which you find in PSP and uh, the high quality YouTube video so this is about choosing the format I hope uh, Alhamdulillah this is uh, not bouncing your head and uh, so just save it choose the container you want you save it and uh, you'll have the video over here right just save to choose the uh, format and save the extension because in Linux I don't know it won't add the extension I have to add it I don't know about Windows operating system uh, I mean AVI Dimix on Windows so this is it now if you if okay now if you just want to choose from let's say uh, this part of the video to 
this part then you just click A over here when you okay and B over here I think I've already done that so uh, the, the selection part is over here and then you save it so you can choose your part and do it right so I guess this is it about conversion convert converting videos from one format to another on Linux I love you Bundle because this is so smooth over uh, on this operating system if I were to do the same on Windows I might have a lot of problems because of the third party codec packs and blah 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 okay so uh, that's it assalamu alaikum subscribe rate comment and if you have any suggestion for my future videos inshallah be coming with more videos just tell me okay assalamu alaikum